Think says Florida like our beautiful palm trees. They're an iconic symbol of our tropical paradise. But if you take a closer look, you'll also see some warning signs that our palm trees are in trouble. They're under attack by a disease without a cure, and tens of thousands have already died. And by the time you notice there's an issue, it's too late to save them. As Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan shows us, researchers are racing to get this problem under control. They stand tall, even majestic, and can stand up to most hurricanes. Palm trees are a postcard picture of Florida life. But there's a problem with this picture. Florida palms are under attack by a disease that continues to spread. All the ones in the driver range, it was about a dozen that were going and within a year they were literally gone. Over the last five years, Jacques Panet, the owner of Terracia Bay Country Club in Palmetto, has watched more than 150 palms die around his golf course. We took all those down because they'd be falling on people. The heads would fall right off eventually and they're dangerous, you know, so um, that's when we just realized we couldn't really fight it. You just had to keep going with it. But that's just a fraction of the tens of thousands infected and left dead across the state. The culprit lethal bronzing disease. The palm tree dies very quickly and it, it browns from the bottom to the top um, and it does so quickly that it actually leaves kind of a bronze look on the fronds. Michelle Atkinson is an environmental horticulture agent with the University of Florida's Manatee County IFAS Extension Office. She says signs to look for include an early fruit drop, the spear leaf at the top of the tree falling out, and eventually the bronzing. It is a little insect that transfers that disease from palm tree to palm tree. Researchers call this insect a plant hopper, and as it infects palms, you'll notice a huge decline in the tree within three months. Infection with this phytoplasma is a death sentence. Um, once a palm gets it, uh, the palm will die from it. At the University of Florida, Dr. Brian Bader, an assistant professor of entomology, has studied the disease and the insect that carries it. Lethal bronzing was first discovered in Texas in 1970. In 2006, researchers in Florida discovered the disease in Manatee County in a palm planted by a Hillsborough County nursery. It kind of made an all-you-could-eat buffet from north to south of susceptible host plants. Uh, to the pathogens. Lethal bronzing can infect up to 20 types of palms, including Phoenix, Queen, and the Florida State Tree, the sable palm, also known as cabbage palm. It has spread throughout the state. It seems to be spreading faster to the south than, than north, uh, and we think that's because there's just a higher density and diversity of palms in the south, southern part of the state. There is no cure for the disease. Instead, remove the infected tree. Otherwise, it could be spreading the disease to, to nearby palms. Then treat nearby uninfected trees with antibiotics injected every three to four months. Dr. Bader says research shows the insect carrier does not like intact natural ecosystems, a hopeful sign for the Everglades and state forests. Still, as lethal bronzing pushes south, there are no signs it will stop. Once we figure out how to uh, effectively manage this insect, it will help us bring lethal bronzing under control. And that is still a work in progress. In Manatee County, Kimberly Cuisan, Fox 13 News. The antibiotic treatments can run anywhere from $50 to $100 per a treatment for each tree. Dr. Bader says there is great concern about the disease reaching some of the rare palm collections and botanical gardens within our state.